It's a place Rugby Sevens fans have been flocking to for near on 45 years. The Hong Kong Sevens returns after a three and a half year absence for the start of a brand new HSBC World Rugby Seven Series. So let's take you through all the tables and how they look. Pool A first up, New Zealand in a bit of trouble. They need a win in their next game against Hong Kong. Samoa and Australia with a big jump in this group. Into Pool B, Great Britain likewise. They need to get a wriggle on as well. France looked really good against GB. And South Africa never won here in Hong Kong. Could this be the year? A big win for them over Uruguay. They play Great Britain next. Fiji started well as expected in Pool C, 59-12 against Japan. But the USA, just a one-point win over Spain, much needed with some big games to come. The USA face Japan next. And Argentina and Ireland have the form teams in Pool D. Ireland 28-12 over Kenya. Marcos Moneta with two tries for Los Pumas 7th, 36-0 against Canada. Oh, it's been turned over and pounced upon by the big man, Amaneki Nicole. And silences the home crowd here. Yeah, New Zealand flexing their muscle at the breakdown there. They get it done over a very tough Hong Kong side. 38 points to 14. On the side, coming across. Sioni's done so much damage. If it goes, there's two on one out wide. One on one. Going for the corner. Juana Sioni, he dives. He gets it. Samoa wins it at the death. Incredible scenes here in Hong Kong. Samoa, never say die attitude. Set move out the back. Now they come back, they've created the overlap. Ah, brilliant work from the young Samoan team. Set piece executed to perfection for Maliko to get his third trick and a hat trick. This one is Samoa 31, Hong Kong 15. Been knocked back to Regan Ware by Joe Webber. I know, backwards. Intercept for Australia, Nathan Lawson. And he will run it in for their fourth try. That is just what New Zealand didn't want. They are through to the last eight. They've beaten New Zealand by 24 points to 17. Take it all the way, but it might work out for them. Yes, it will. They're going to finish the way they started. The salute to the South Stand, Paul Laretra from Racing 92 as his first try for France 7. A big, big win over Uruguay, 45 points to five. Homer. Max McFarlane now, here's what he can do. Max McFarlane, one to beat. Oh, he turns Selwyn Davids inside out. That's what we've been missing. Magic Max. Back in Rugby Sevens, back scoring tries. Well, he can take his time at the end goal. We've got to be careful at this point. We're at a moment when England did a similar thing. And that is an enormously important win for Great Britain. Deus. Lichtenstein, Alvarez. Alvarez for Uruguay. That is the leveling score. A conversion from right in front will win it for the South Americans. Uruguay have beaten Great Britain in Hong Kong. That's what it means. Their first win. As a full-time nation, 
on the HSBC World Rugby Seven Series. A lovely offload, there it is, Grandidier yet again. For France, he goes on the outside. Aaron Grandidier is as strong as hotel coffee, and France take back the lead. They win it. 19-17 over South Africa. Good things happening there under Simon Amor. The USA, though, looking for a quarter-final berth here with Cody Melfi. Melfi, a clear bust for the line. He's a marvellous player, is Cody Melfi. And he'll dot one down for the US. Two from two so far, victorious by 35 points to 22 against Japan. Of Nandavalu, that goes up the middle. A beautiful pass and ranging up with this one. Fiji want to finish with a flurry. And they'll do just that. Felipe Saltoranga finishes it off in style. Fantastic, Fiji. That confirms the quarter final place for Fiji. Beat the Spanish side here. Locking a full seat, 35 points to 21. Eric inside, you stay or you might mark. Time on. Time is back on, 18 seconds. Spain execute as required. Still pushing. Surprise, but they've got the job done. As I mentioned, Juan Martinez wins the one on one battle and secures the victory for Spain. Yeah, it smiles for Martinez and the Spanish with this victory 33 points to 19. Loose ball. Guess who? Patrick Fernando Valo. Fiji win this one, 24 points to nil. They will top the pool here. Onwaru, who's been really good for Canada, but McNulty sees the space in behind. Harry McNulty, he might do it all himself here. Look at the big man go. Webster getting back, but big Harry steps through the tackle. 19-7. Ireland over Canada at full time. Hands on the floor, seeing the ball. Black. Penalty Seven against black. Kenya. Well, Single. there's three on one for the moment. Revol's got it in hand. He hits it short. Simple hands, well executed. Great basic skills. Luciano Gonzalez over for the Pumas. They'll take the victory here. 26 points to seven. In Edmonton, what a ball from the mullet man, it's beautiful. And Phil Burner will go in for Canada, a glorious score to win their first game here in Hong Kong. They defeat Kenya by a score of 19 points to 14. Ireland looking to follow through, they've done brilliantly off the restart, the step as well. Ed Kelly, cue the coffin dancers, he's deadly. Ireland in front of the south stand, touchdown. Ireland win this one 21 points to 17 against Argentina. Here's how the men's cup draw looks in the quarterfinals. It will be full winners Samoa against Argentina in quarterfinal number one. Then Fiji, they're going for a six straight title here, but they've got to play South Africa. South Africa have never won the Hong Kong Sevens. On the other side of the draw, it is Ireland who will play Australia in quarterfinal number three. And then France, who've been absolutely brilliant here in Hong Kong so far. They play the USA in quarterfinal number four.